What's up, everybody? I'm going to be honest with you. I This is my second taking of recording this podcast because I'm sick. I don't feel good. I feel like I'm about to die. I feel like I'm high. And Jesus Christ, I want people to help me. <laughs> like, somebody, please, just save my soul. I feel like I'm high as hell, and I feel like I'm about to die soon. Anyways, let's get to it, okay? Welcome to the POV Podcast. Welcome to the Point of View Podcast. And I am Mal, your host, and your freaking helicopter. And you're like, your person to, to not turn to, because I'm not a good person to like, for advice, even though I do give out advice. But a helicopter's flying past over the over the house that I slept that I live in. I call it my house, but it's really not my house. I I'm 18 years old, and I go to community college. I don't feel like going to class today. I really don't feel like going to class today because I'm sick as hell. So let's get right to it. I start off with saying 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 that I'm sick and I'm complaining like a little bitch that I'm sick. So. That's something. What is to come for the next upcoming weeks? Well, time to tell you guys. What is to come for the next upcoming weeks is simple. All right. I could just fuck it. Training center. Hold on. I gotta set the settings. Tornado off. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna, cause I am, cause um. What's coming? Cause I didn't, my, I didn't update my Fire Pro. Cause I want to have the mods, so I can record some stuff. But yeah. But anyways, let's get back to the um main thing. Basically, Uno. Oh my God. Uno. The first thing that's coming up in the in the coming weeks is the Autumn Tour. I'm still doing the autumn tour, okay? It's coming very soon. Like, just be patient. The autumn tour is coming next week. And I'm going to announce the the tour dates on the first day of the tour. Mm. So that y'all can be ready, okay? Uh. Oh, shoot. Like, I'm going to announce the tour dates probably the 4th after I record some of the shows. But the tour dates are going to be simple. Every match, it's going to be a five match every single day. Not every single day, but like every tour date is going to be five matches. Maybe a promo here or there. You, you may never know. <laughs> It then, then, then the tour is going to conclude on. It's going to conclude at Thanks Beating, the event Thanks Beating. So yeah, I want y'all to get ready for that. Jesus Christ, I'm so freaking sick. <laughs> I really don't feel good, <laughs> Mister Stark. I don't feel so good, <laughs> literally. <laughs> But like, um, basically, I I really want this tour day to be fun. I want this tour to be fun. My main goal for this tour is basically to have fun. And I currently made the clown car, scouts, scoots, salts, suits the clown, and Scuffy the Joker. Against the um the dogs of war or the dogs of entertainment, DOE, Chipu and Dalmatian. So yeah. So the match is gonna start while we talk, okay? Let's just have fun and let's just entertain. Motherfuckers who wants to watch the match and who wants to watch the podcast, they can watch the podcast. And let me just tell you, I put on training. Anyways, what's to come the next week is the autumn tour. 
the the freestanding event of um NAW Nonstop Action Wrestling is now be it's not gonna be called New Ambition Wrestling. That announcement is gonna take place. Wait, today's Thursday? Ah shoot. Well Thursday is um double upload now because we also have the um Turbo. Yeah, NAW Turbo is today at three o'clock. So this is gonna be so this podcast is gonna be up before it, most likely. So we got the weekly turbo shows. It's gonna be three weeks. Three weeks till the um three weeks till salvation. I'm sorry guys, I'm all over the place right now. But yeah, this is the worst podcast I've ever recorded right now. Happy Halloween, people. I know y'all I know y'all scared for my life. But yeah. Speaking of NAW, NAW stuff. NAW had their Factors of Fear event. And I'm going to tell you guys what happened at Factors of Fear. We had the Battle Royal to determine who will who will fight for what title. Any title they want. Notice I said any title they want, even though there's only one championship. But you may never know, you know. <laughs> T. Vincent won the Battle Royal, so he gets to choose any title he wants. I don't know when the hell he, he's going to announce his. Announce he's going to fight for what title he wants. But, yeah. Then we have beef matches like Jane Bear versus Samantha. Cedric Kennedy from Comparative Reasoning from CR Fire Pro has officially said this was the best match of the night. If y'all agree with that, I want y'all to watch the match for y'all guys self. See if tell me if that was the ba- if that was the match of the night. If if you disagree, who cares? It doesn't matter. That's just your opinion. Same same with Cedric. He says that was the match of the night. That's his opinion. Nobody's right. Nobody's wrong. Then we have Kano versus Edwin Ryder in a hardcore match. Edwin Ryder won, but he was bloody up. To be honest, I'll be honest with you guys. That was kind of my pick for match of the night. Not because Kano was in the match, because it was so violent. It was violent as hell. That's the only reason why I said that was match of the night. For for, for me. That's that's just my opinion, alright? Then we have the um women's championship match, Kaiva Prince versus Val Jester. Val Jester won the match. And she's the and she's the inaugural women's champion of NAW. So yeah, that's something. Good match though. It was a good match. I forgot. I haven't seen the match for a while. But then we got the NAW championship match. Brandon Sharp versus Quincy. Quincy won the match, and he's the inaugural NAW champion. Yes, I have to quit the match because I got it on give up only. Forgot about that. But yeah, like that was the um show. It was a good show. Like it was a really good show. I feel like if we was in a war between like if 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 we was in the war between CWF and us if if we was in a war we want to beat them. We would have kind of beat them in this way. And, like, the reason why I said we would have beat them, like, for this day, is because not only we have a shorter show, but we was, like, we wasn't dragging on. That show, although I watched their Friday the Night show, um, it was a good show. I'll be honest with you guys. It was a good show. I like it. But my issue with that show is that I feel like it was dragging. Like, most of the show was hyped up for the main event. 
which death wins the um CWF championship. But yeah, like it was I feel as though it was dragging and like it could have been better. But I still watched the show and I liked it. I watched it twice or three times. Only because I like to see Mr. USA get his ass beat. This is the funniest shit ever. That's when it was, and um, Kano was watching it. And he was like, I was laughing my ass off. Kano's just evil sometimes. But anyways, ah, my um joint. I don't want to do that. There we go. Current match playing the Cloud Car versus Doggy. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways. Dang, I was off topic. I was talking about NAW stuff and I started talking about CAWF. <laughs> PSPW. PSPW is hosting the Autumn Tour. And the Autumn Tour is going to happen next week. I said next week because my bank i currently have a bank account and like we are going and i'm going to get the dlc so so i have so i have the um, city gym instead of using this high school gym but we might still be in a high school gym for like a couple shows but other than that we're just going to be in the gym but but the autumn tour is going to be a four week tour. Conclude on the Thanksgiving, which is which is going to be taped ahead of time. I announced it's going to be taped because I want to. I want my wrestlers, my wrestlers, and the wrestlers who want to join in the Autumn Tour. I want them to have a little break and have and be with their families on Thanksgiving while they watch their matches. From from before Thanksgiving, but it's gonna be a Thanksgiving event. So yeah, because I'm just a nice guy. I don't want because I don't want them to like work on a holiday that is required for them to be with their families, like New Year's, Christmas, and all that other stuff. You know. Mm. So yeah. Also, I want to announce. That PSPW will have championships. Yes, you heard it first. PSPW is going to have championships. It's going to have the Mega Grand Prix Championship. That's the first title. It, and, and the best thing about it is that it's for everybody. Women, men, transgender... You know, whatever you are, goblins, freaking, you could be a, a, a Neko, a cat girl. You could be anything that you want to be in pure spirit pro wrestling. Because wrestling is wrestling. And we want to entertain the fans and give them a show. So, PSPW is open to any champions who wants to become champions. And we want them to have a fun time wrestling. But, yeah. we PSPW is going to have championships. PSPW is going to have an autumn tour. And maybe PSPW might have a winter tour in January. So, that's the um, news. Jesus. My sickness is killing me inside my body. I feel like I am high as shit and really and really ready to die. <coughs> <coughs> ah shit, I choked on my own mucus. <laughs> but yeah. That's what's gonna happen. PSBW might have a Mega Grand Prix Championship, might have a mid card or a secondary championship. We might even have a trios championship, or trios or tag teams, or trios or duos. I don't know. Depending on how the roster size be. Yeah. 
But other than that, let's talk about this new segment. I'm going a, I'm to a do this new segment, okay? It's called My Pick of Feds of My Liking. I don't know what I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna call this. I, like I was gonna call it my pick for Fed of the Week because I didn't want to call it that because I don't want people to be mad. I might call it something else, like Fed of the Day or something like that. I don't know because I might do this weekly or I might do this anytime I want. So whatever. Fed, I don't know. My favorite Fed for now. Or not my favorite Fed, I don't know. I, I don't know what to call this segment. Can y'all please tell me what to call this segment in the comment section? Please. Thank you. But anyways, this new segment is going to be basically Feds I kind of got stuck in my head that I kind of want to, you know, mention out there. Give them a shout out. So. The Fed that I want to shout out is, Let's see if I can pull it up. I don't know what the fuck that show is. Ah, I need to find it because like it was in my subscription. Fuck it. I'm going to the Amino. Because it's right there in the Amino. I forgot the name of this Fed already. I am so sorry for you. I'm so sorry for that I forgot about your Fed already. It was in my head and it's in the tip of my tongue. I hate it so much because I feel dumb. There we go. World Championship Call. That is my pick for today. World Championship Call is a... Let me get it. World Championship Call is a British call league created using combination of rest of WWE 2K18 gameplay with cutscenes. Well, this is old. Because now these are 19. So this is whatever. Gameplay and cutscenes from WWE 2K with some background music taken from SmackDown 2 Know Your Role. It airs on YouTube for for fortnightly 30 minutes, although it could be up to 28 minutes or 33 minutes. Extended and extended supercar shows that run for 90 minutes. I'm not going to read you the history because it's a history. But I'm going to take the link and put it in the description. Well, before I do that, I need to basically um open up my docs, <laughs> my um, Google Docs, and place it there. All right. So that is my pick for the call of the day or something. Not call of the day. Show of the day that I kinda got in my head. That was in my head, so I want them I want them I want to shout them out because even though they got the same wrestling initials as Wrestling Cup Classic, they are for 2K feds. If you want to watch that 2K fed, I'll leave you in the description below. I want you guys to watch it. It's it's pretty good. Like I like it. If it, like it's basically a old school WCW um 2K show because the logo looked like WCW logo. So, good stuff, good show. Congratulations and I want to shout you out. And they have a um they have a, a Halloween show that's coming soon, so Get ready for that show. Who's online? <laughs> oh, Zulai's online. Okay. <laughs> oh, crap. Why did I turn off my phone? I, sh I, I have my notes on my phone. My notes. Someone pissed on my notes. 
Oh, that's just whatever. Um, let's talk about pay per view schedules, okay? Pay per view schedules or freaks and event schedules are crucial to your um schedules, okay? Reason why is crucial? Easy, because you need to get organized with yourself. Some people do their shows on the spot. I respect your hustle. I cannot do that. <laughs> I must tape my shit. <laughs> like on like on seriousness, I must tape my shows. I can't do my shows on the spot. I cannot do that. Why? And the clown car is beating up freaking dogs. This is animal abuse right here. But yeah. I respect I respect everything you do that will basically say that you will do your show on the spot. I can't do that. The only reason why I can't do that is because I'm one, lazy, two, freaking um I'm too inconsistent with my shit. So yeah. Cedric, John Ubai, y'all guys y'all guys are freaking gods for doing that. Like, I am dead serious. Y'all guys are freaking gods for doing that. Anyways. Um. Well, what was I about to say? But yeah, pay-per-view schedules. Um, let, let's talk about um some of my pay-per-view schedules. Well, not my pay-per-view schedules, but let, like, let's just talk about pay-per-view schedules in, in general. Yeah. Basically, a schedule will help you like be organized with your shit. Because if you're not organized with your stuff, then you will be all over the place, like me. Shit, I'm all over the place right now. The hell? I'm doing this impromptu as freaking podcast when I'm sick as hell and when I don't want to go to school because I'm sick as hell. You know, be better than me, okay? Guys, be better than me. Please be better than me. But yeah. <laughs> so, let's talk about some interviews that's going to happen soon. I am going to interview Wrestling Cup Classic. I'm going to interview Zulite if eventually. I say I say eventually because I don't know what's gonna happen because life happens and I don't want to be interrupting somebody else's life just for a po- just for a podcast. But yeah, I'm going to interview Wrestling Cup Classics very soon, probably Saturday, and I'm going to ask him some questions about his Fed and the history of his Fed, and just um you know have fun, something entertaining, you know, because. We we want to get the community together in this freaking effect community. My dream interview is with Maximilian. I want to interview XVPW so much because they have the best production quality today of efeds of two K efeds. They got good production quality. I fucks with that. But I'll say this. We are more extreme than them. Okay? We are more extreme than XVPW. The reason why? Watch XCW. Watch Factors of Fear, Kano versus Edwin Ryder. That is extreme, XVPW. We are we are the most extreme when we want to be. We don't force it upon people. Shoot. Because um XCW is basically a CZW like Fed. We are hardcore. They are hardcore. They they gave us fundings. They like they gave us fundings just to fund this Fed. And we gave them a deal. The first show is gonna be straight hardcore. The second show, you're gonna have some normal matches, which is have no rules. But we won't have no weapons automatically in the ring because we don't want to kill everybody every week or like once a time. Y'all must be 
in a small venue and have a cult following soon. And y'all must pull in the views. If y'all don't pull in the views, at least around 10 views or something like that, then we will cut you off. So far, they got nine. So we might keep them and give them some lenience. But yeah. PSPW is a whole different ball game, B. If you watch Chikara or PWG, that's what, pe- that's what, the- that's what we are. That's what they are. <laughs> NAW, um, they're basically the flagship show of, of this channel. So, yeah. But yeah, sp- but yeah back to interviews. We- I'm going to interview Wrestling Cup Classic. Ask them some questions here or there about everything that's been on my mind. And, um, yeah. If you want to be in an interview or like a podcast, like in my podcast, w- whether it's an interview format or just talking or talk shit, then, you know, hit me up. I'll be there and I will, you know, record it and we could just have fun. Now, I want to talk about storylines, okay? Storylines is crucial. Damn it, my tea is cold, I'm mad, and I'm still stuffy, and I'm still lightheaded. <clears throat> Storylines is crucial, oh, why the f- I forgot about this, hold up, match playing, current match playing, F, U, N, versus, OGs, of, America. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> Basically, we are um the storylines if your show is story based then it's crucial. If it's like rank based then it, it's secondary. But at the end of the day, if you want your storyline to be engaging with the audience and more like dramatic and all that shit, then you must tell a really credible story. Don't be unrealistic like a motherfucker because that's annoying. And plus, it doesn't make any damn sense. Like, what the fuck? But it's just like, if you want to like make a storyline about, oh, he fucked my girl, now I'm gonna have a wrestling match with this motherfucker. Dude, that's not realistic. <laughs> Oh, she cheated on me with this dude. I'm going to wrestle him. What? Okay. That's just my opinion, okay? That's just my opinion. Storyline's like, oh, he cheated on me and all that shit. And then I want to wrestle the dude she cheated on with. I don't really get that. That's not my forte. Only because it doesn't make any sense, in my opinion. So, yeah. But I'm going to tell you guys a good storyline, all right? Mm. Let's say I might give it a shoot or give it some ideas, but I have a lot of ideas for storylines for Kano and JKL because those are my two boys, and like those are basically my property of my creations. So I so I got a lot of ideas for them, but um. The storyline goes like this, right? Kano... Kano left a company because he he was mentally drained. Jake Hill thought he left them just to be left. And felt like he got buried because of Kano's quitting. So they don't like each other. They got beef with each other. They want to fight each other. But it's not going to be a wrestling match. It's going to be a whole fight. No rules. No nothing. Just a, just a straight up gloves off fight. Simple as that. Or. J.K.O. wants a redemption story. From him being buried and injured, now he wants re- now he wants to you know regain himself and basically be better. 
Simple as that. Or a hurler grizzly storyline, they lost a couple matches and they have a losing streak, but they was dominating. Like they literally have a good look. And now they won a match, a big match for a number contendership for attack titles, and they won the titles. That's a whole like what the hell? They have a losing streak. They they was in a number one contender match, a number one contendership tag title multi tag tag bleh, multi tag what the fuck multi team match for number one, for number one contendership for tag titles and they won the match. Ah oh, shit! Boom. Last resort. <laughs> But yes, you know, stuff like that makes it more entertaining, you know. But storylines is crucial when it comes to your certain feds. Because if you want your storylines to be, like, really, really realistic. Like, I'll be honest with you. I like realistic storylines. I really do like realistic realistic storylines. Because, like, it's realistic. I can, I can relate to you. Like, shoot, my teammate betrayed me. I understand how you feel. I have my friends who betray me. Or, or, um, you was mistreated by your boss. She, I know how you feel, man. I, I've been mistreated by people too. I like how Marcella gives that little pose and that basically, even though it, 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 it don't look like her put up the L, I call it the loser pose because she's a dick sometimes. She wants to say, oh, you're a loser. But yeah, that's just out of topic. But, yeah, so, that's storylines. Now, I kind of want to ramble a bit, because I want this podcast to be not too long, but just meaningful. In my opinion, this is my opinion. Tag team wrestling is freaking lit. <laughs> Tag team wrestling is lit. I like this. Both of them got submissions in. That's tough. Tag team wrestling is freaking lit. Reason why? Simple. Because it's tad team wrestling, maybe. Teamwork makes the dream work. And teamwork makes things a lot more fun. When you have the best chemistry with your tag partner or members... You you got the best badass chemistry with them, and basically, y'all just rule the ring. Two teams that have chemistry with each other, like all four people have chemistry with each other. Oh my god, that match would be freaking powerful. Like, it's just that. I like tag team wrestling, even though WWE killed it for me because of their freaking retarded ass tag division. But other companies' tag team matches be, like, on point. Straight up. Singles matches can be lit, too, with the chemistry. But more people, more chemistry, and more teamwork, and badass, like, finishes. Hey, you got a recipe for success, my guy. Next thing, commentary. I'll be honest with y'all. When I comment, mm, when I commentate over a match, I commentate. I be real as possible. I be funny. Well, even though even though I'm, I'm not funny, I'll be like just entertaining. I'm trying to I'm like I'm trying to entertain y'all with with my words. I don't have to I don't I don't have to entertain y'all with nothing else but just my words. So, yeah, a a bad show can have good commentary, and then it can intrigue. Like your matches can be shite or average, but the commentary is like fire.
what I'm trying to say is basically like you can have a badass comment like badass commentary and shit, but you can have a very, very entertaining match. I seen that shit happen. Like you do not believe. Like you would not believe what the fuck I've been seeing. <laughs> Or what the fuck I've been doing. Because I feel as though my matches is not... I feel like... When it comes down to me... um, I forgot the dude's name. God dang it. <laughs> But, like, but, like, what I'm trying to say is that I feel like my commentating is not the best. I'm not the best commentator, but I'm trying to engage with the audience and basically have a good time. That's what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm trying to engage with the audience. I'm trying to have fun, and I'm trying to entertain not only the, the fans, but myself to keep, like, engage like keep being inside the match and actually feel like feel something instead of just being a little video game i wanted it to be like a real wrestling show when matches don't have commentary it doesn't matter you can still be sucked into the match because it, it can be that damn good like think about it as like a house show or a new japan or like an old new japan sh- match that doesn't have commentary think about that Commentary is not the be-all, end-all, okay? Sometimes, if you have shit commentary, then that's some, then, then you're fucked. But if you have, like, good commentary and a good match, you have a mixture that is God levels. So, yeah, that's just my little take on commentary. Um... I was literally watching a CR show, CR Fire Pro show, and it was three hours long. I was about to kill myself. <sighs> At least he said he's not doing that again. <laughs> that's all. That's all. I, I, that's all. That's all I gotta say. Good show, but don't do it again. <laughs> Figure four, F four L. You got a three-hour show. I'm going to watch it. I am going to eventually watch it when it's on YouTube. But I'm going to break it down like once I get one hour of show, take a break, next hour, take a break, then next hour. So I at least watch the show and give it a view because I want to support you. I'm not going to watch the whole thing. I'm going to watch it, the whole thing, but I'm going to break it down. I kind of owe Figure Four a review for a show. I do owe him that. Yeah. I should do. I should bring back the reviews again. I, I, I if I might review a CR show, not that three thousand hour show. Oh my god, I am not watching that shit again. <laughs> I watch it one time. Got everything. Everything came to me in one go. That's it. Other than that, I'm not watching another three hour wrestling e feds. <laughs> unless it's unless, uh I, I'm kinda biased for um Forever Movement or Star Team. I'm kinda biased because they got good quality. But shit, man. <laughs> My god. Show length is important. Show length is important. If it's like three fucking hours or four fucking hours of Fire Pro Wrestling, I cannot do that. Unless you, unless it's like New Legacy where it makes it funny as shit. New Legacy makes everything funny. I swear. They just live stream their shit. That's all they do. But for E-Fed, timing. Like, if you're just doing gameplay, that's cool. But if you're recording a show, it doesn't have to be 5,000 hours long. 20 million matches. I can't do that, man. If it has commentary, I could deal with it somewhat. 
But if it doesn't have commentary and it's just like a three hour show, I don't know how to feel about that. <sighs> my God. And I still have to record my um show. Oh my God. I feel drained. Well, this has been Point of View, the sick episode. So thank you guys for listening. Final thoughts is um my final advice for y'all. I'm a I'm gonna start doing final advices probably. Show length show length is important. Make sure your show isn't five hours long if it's a five pro show. Make sure you if like my like my suggestion is one hour to two hours. That's it. Other than that, you're just fucking mental. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's just my final thoughts so yeah I'm getting the DLC for the gym I'm getting that DLC storylines has to be on fleek and um yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching enjoy this match and see you guys next time ciao Great!